Hey guys, Renee here, welcome back. So I know it's been a hot minute since I have done hauls for you. Of course, I've been shopping, we all know the addiction is real. Um, but I have had a ton of stuff happen in my life and I will do a separate video on that because I know some of you guys come <clears throat> to my channel just for my shopping hauls and some of you guys come for, um, you know, the vlogs and stuff like that. So I'm going to do a separate video on my life update and we'll kind of go from there. Um, let's jump right into the shopping haul. I went to, I'm looking around at bags. I went to New Horizons, which is a thrift store. I went to Goodwill and I went to the mall, which we went to GameStop. And I think that's it. Anyways, but I'll show you as I go. Okay, so let's start with the mall. So my son wanted to go to GameStop. We all know it's not my jam, but that's fine. So he wanted to get a new set of headphones. Yes, he got some for Christmas. Yes, I have purchased him a set since then because these things don't last very long. So these are $29.99. He has the Xbox One. Um, and he likes the dual headphones so that way when I yell for him, he can't hear me. So, ow, there's that. While we were at the mall, oh, I did forget. I went into Journeys because every time it gets cold, I want socks to go up to my knees. I either wear like no-show socks or I wear socks that go up to my knees. There's no in-between for me. So, while we are there, they had these ones, which are my favorite ones. I don't know why they're kind of throwback, I guess. Um, but they have five pairs of them and I believe they were like $12 or something like that. Let me see. Yeah. $12 exactly. So for the five pairs, which I mean, bye son, isn't he wanted his headset, isn't the best deal in the world, but they are in my opinion, some of the best socks in the world. So I picked me up a set of those. Um, let's go Goodwill, I guess, next. So went to Goodwill and they had this sign, which is basically a fence board that somebody painted and wrote love on, but I thought it's just beautiful. The coloring is beautiful. And they did this little rope detail that Kind of actually reminds me of the Dollar Tree twine. So be super simple to make if you're interested in it. But I was like, you know what? I don't have time. I just don't. And I paid $6.99 for it. But very beautiful. I'm going to use it during Valentine's Day. And I'll also just put it out on my front porch whenever. Because the coloring kind of goes with fall. So... Super excited about that. Okay, then I kind of went on like a pillow spree today, you guys. Like every time fall comes around, it starts to get cold. I'm like, ooh, I need more pillows. Ooh, I, need, I don't need anything, you guys, to be honest with you. But they had this pillow, which has a piece of lint on it. Um, Super soft, very textured. It's like a, almost like a feather pillow, which I love about it. And you guys know that I have the gray and white scheme going pretty much throughout my whole house at this time. And it was $4.99 for it, but super nice. So I grabbed that one. And then I'm actually sitting on another one. Pardon me. So they had these ones which you guys know, just, I don't even have to say it anymore, I don't think. Like I have an old lady inside of me somewhere. I just, I love, love vintage looking items. And it was $5.99 for this pillow, which is a little bit expensive. You guys know how I am. I normally will wait till items go 50% off and they're $1.99, $2.99, something like that. but. For what this is, I thought it was a super good buy, and they actually had two of them. So I bought both of them for my bed. 
And then, I forgot, to, I'm going to target too. Sorry. Then they had this little gray throw. And this one doesn't say who it's by, neither do those ones. This one was $2.99. So it's just a little throw one. I've got quite a bit of them on my couch. Pretty much covered my couch up with that. And then while we were there, my son, he loves Rubik's Cubes. And I was like, well, it doesn't even turn, son. I think it's broken. And he was like, no, mom. He's like, it's like a light. I, it's like a game of some sort. I don't even know. And you push the buttons. I don't even know. It's a game though. And it lights up and does all kinds of stuff, but it's a Rubik's Cube game. And it was $1.99. So I said, all right, I'm going to get that for him. So then while we were there, I, I went for the purpose of finding a red Fresno State shirt, which being in Colorado, finding a California shirt, unless it's like Dodgers or something like that, is pretty hard to do. However, um, my boyfriend surprised me, and today we are going to go watch Fresno State play Air Force Academy. And so we're going to make a road trip, and we're going to go and watch Fresno State play Air Force. I'm super pumped about it, super excited about it. And I went looking for a red Bulldog shirt because I only have one, and... It's seen better days. So anyways, didn't find one, but I did find this Nike basketball shirt for my son and it was $5.99, which I mean, for a U shirt, it's okay, I guess, but this one looks brand new, so I'm okay with it. <clears throat> Then I found this shirt for my son. He thought it was kind of funny. Just says mac and cheese on it. It's just a plain little shirt. He he loves t-shirts and stuff like that. This one was $1.99. Oh, can't do it. So that's right up my alley. I love buying stuff like that because I don't care if he goes outside and rolls in the dirt and whatever with it. It's fine. Then we found this one for my dad. World's Greatest Grandpa, and it's brand new. Still had the store tags on it, and they only wanted $1.99 for that one, so I grabbed that one for my dad. And I picked up a couple um, bralettes. Um, I've never tried a bralette, and I know that it's a big craze and a big fad right now, but I don't want to go spend 15, 20, 30, 40 dollars for a bralette and not like it. So I thought I'm going to pick up a couple of them and see if I like them. If I do, then I'll be willing to spend the money. But I went ahead and got like this peach colored one and it's got like this clear part on it. It was $2.99 and I found this green one i know it's kind of awkward showing my underwear on camera but that's okay it doesn't matter it's just a bra no different than a swimsuit 2.99 for this one and i thought this one was actually really super cute it has like the lace backing on it and then they had this black one that has like the crop backing in it and this is from charlotte ross Rose, whatever, however you say it. And this one was $3.99. So I'm going to try them out, see if I like them. If I don't, I'm not sad about it because I didn't spend a whole lot of money on them. I'd be sad if I spent a lot of money and didn't like them. So next shop was Target. I stopped in Target for one purpose only, and that was to get my Ole Sleep Vitamins. I have not been taking these for about four months now, I went off of them and I do that with all of my, even my vitamins. I go off of them for a little while and let my body do what it's going to do and then I go back on them and so I went ahead and stopped 
stopped and got some of these because I have not been sleeping the best lately. That'll be explained in my what's been going on with me video. They also had um, this Voluminous Lash Paradise Glitter Topper. So this is in gold and it's basically mascara, but it's gold glitter mascara. And I thought that'll be cool over, you know, just a little fancy sparkle. It was $4.98, which is a little bit more than I typically spend for mascara, but I wanted to try it out and I thought five bucks, not a bad deal, I guess. <clears throat> and then my son found these Rick and Morty socks. I don't know who Rick and Morty is. I don't. And they're kind of, they look like they might be crew styles from the way they're looking, but I don't know who Rick and Morty is, but he was super excited. And I think they were $5.498. They don't have a price tag on them, but yeah. Okay, on to New Horizon Thrift Store. New Horizon, I went very, very pillow happy. So, they had this huge gray pillow with these studs on the bottom of it. And all this will go straight to the washer and dryer and you know, you guys know me, but it's a massive size pillow and it was only $3.95. So pretty good deal on that pillow. And then I found this little gray one, which kind of goes with the one that I bought from Goodwill, lighter shade gray. Um, I paid $2.99 for the one from Goodwill and all of their small pillows like this at New Horizon are $1.75. I like New Horizon a little bit more than Goodwill. They are cheaper priced and we all know me, cheap. So, frugal, I like that word better. While we're in the pillow aisle, my son, found this pillow and said, I like that one, mom. Okay, son. It was $1.95. So I picked him up a deer pillow, which for Christmas time will actually be really nice for his room. Come to think about it. I was trying to find a positive note because pillows just end up turning into forts and forts end up turning into messes. And anybody that's got a child, a boy anyways, I know for a fact, you know the struggle. So while I was there, of course, New Horizons is a church-based thrift store. And so they already have out their Christmas stuff like everybody else does. Um, but they run pretty good deals on their Christmas stuff because they're a church-based um, store. And they had this pretty poinsettia with the plaid bow on it. It's in really, really good shape. It's matches my color scheme and everything that goes with my house for Christmas time. And it was $1.99. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I don't even have out my Christmas stuff yet, but I skipped over Halloween this year, you guys. I'm skipping over it. I'm going from fall to Christmas. That's the way it's gonna happen. Then they had this coffee mug. It says Christmas wishes and it was 99 cents. So, I always make sure that they're dishwasher and microwave safe because I am a mom and I work and I reheat my coffee probably four times before I finish a cup. It's unfortunate, but it's true. So I have to have microwave safe cups and I don't have a whole lot of Christmas cups. So then I have kind of been on a hat kick lately and I don't know why. I, I think it's laziness, don't wanna do my hair. But I went and I'm like, I'm gonna go find me some hats. And I will not pay $20, $25, $30 for a hat. I won't do it because if it gets messed up, I'll be sad. So I will pay $5 and under for a hat. That's the way it goes. So I found this one, which is absolutely probably the favorite one I found. It still has the tag on it. And it's from Betos Cabetos. I don't know what that is. They have a Facebook page and um, it was $3.97, but it's still brand new, tag on it and everything, breast cancer awareness. And I actually love the fact 
I love hats that are very worn like this. I actually prefer used hats because they're broken in and I have a very, very tiny head. And so to find a hat that fits me is hard. And so this one absolutely fits perfect. It is new, but because it's the beat up, I don't know, it just fits better. It's, you know, it's gonna be a lengthy one, you guys. I'm long winded today. Then they had this Texas one and I love Texas the state. I don't really care for Texas teams, but it was cute and I liked it. So I paid $2.97 for this one and it was made by Twins Enterprise. There it is. All this will be. And then this one still has the tag on it as well. And this is a Louisville Slugger. If any of you guys don't know, I did play softball pretty much my entire life. And so Louisville Slugger was my bat of choice. And so I definitely loved this one. It was also $2.97. So grab that one up. And then I got this Nike one. The Nike swoosh is black, the same as the hat, and it's just all black. And this one is actually a fitted one. It's not the snapback style, and it was only $1.97. And I did not know what size my head was, so I've already put this on my head to see if it fit me. And unfortunately, it does not say on here what size it is, so I still do not know what size my head is. But, boom, you guys. I don't even have to do my hair anymore ever again. I got enough hats now. My hat collection is actually pretty impressive, but I don't. I used to not wear hats that often. Then I went through the clothes as well since I was there. And we've already had six inches of snow that happened yesterday. Day before yesterday, excuse me. Day before yesterday. Six inches of snow. It's all gone because now it's 80 degrees outside again, but... Anyway, so I went to go see if I could find some new little winter fall things. This is from Forever 21 and it's one of the, I don't know what they're, shawl, I don't know what you call them, the blankets, but it's got the hole and then you just put your head through it and then it just drapes off of you anyways, but I thought it was super cute, super pretty and it was $3.99. So I went ahead and picked that up. I don't own any Forever 21 clothes, but this feels like amazing quality. And so I'm super excited about that because I've wanted to try Forever 21 clothes, but I do not shop for clothes online. Unless I've already, I can't say I do not, but I mostly do not. Unless I know the brand, I know my size, I know like Nike, the um, ProFit, shorts. I don't know why I can't think today. The Nike Pro Fit shorts that I wear to work out in, I know. I'm a medium in those. I know the lengths. I know all the different things about those. I can get online and order me those and I know that I'm getting what size I need. This is from Green Tea is what it says. It was $3.99. And I do buy things, this is a 2XL, you guys. I buy things huge because I like to layer and I like to be warm in the winter time. But it's just a cute, simple little sweatshirt. It's got the drawstrings like as if it's a hoodie, but there is no hood on it, which I thought was adorable. And it's even got the front pockets like a hoodie would. I've been into these shirts quite a bit lately. I have like four or five of them now and I'm like, that's my style. <sighs> This one is going to be super huge on me. I already know it, but that's why I bought it. So this is also a 2XL. And I wear like smalls and mediums, you guys. So this is going to be huge on me. But American Eagle Outfitters. And I have a couple of their sweaters and I love them. And it was $3.99. But I wanted it to be super baggy and super like hangy. Is that even a word? like this one, like I can wear it off my shoulder, I could wear it up, you know what I mean? Like I like super baggy and 
flowy clothes. And I loved the detailing down the sleeve. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's almost like it's stitched all the way down the sleeve. And the sleeves are huge, you guys, massive. I'm super excited to try this on. And I might go ahead and try it on so you guys can see what it looks like. But I'll get through the haul first. That way, if you want to hang around and watch me try it on, you can. Then they had this one, which was from Saucy. I don't, I've never even heard of that, you guys. And it was also $3.99. That seems to be the going rate for a sweater there. And it's just a black, kind of plain sweater. But the thing that I liked about it is it had, like this is where your neck goes. So I thought that was cool. But then, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's open down here and kind of has the lower cut. So it'll be, I don't know. But anyway, so I grabbed that one. And I got this one, this was a large, so this one should fit me about perfect, a little bit baggy, but not bad. And that was what I got. All right, guys, so that was what I got. I hope you guys enjoyed today's haul, and I'm sorry I've been MIA. My next video hopefully will be on my life update. I will do that for you guys and let you guys know. I am not going to be able to record it today, though, because I'm heading out of town very soon um, to go watch a football game. And I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have been great and everything's going well with you. Drop a comment. Say hi. I miss you guys. We'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.